Okay, independent driving video. A useful skill for the driving test and for the rest of your life. We're going to follow the signs for Guildford um, for a few junctions and then we're going to change it to Farnborough halfway through. So we'll pull away when we're ready. Okay, now at the end of the road here, we've got a couple of signs telling us we have to turn left and we're not allowed to turn right. So we'll treat it like the end of the road turning left. So centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Now the signal is for people that may not have a driving license or can't see the signs that tell us we can only turn left. So we're keeping our head moving like a tennis match, looking for our gap in the traffic. So looking ahead we can already see some traffic lights, they're quite far away and we've also got a bus lane which we need to avoid, so centre mirror, right mirror, just in case the car behind doesn't know there's a bus lane there. Okay so we're looking for our directional signs, at the moment we can't see any so we're going to assume that it's follow the road ahead for now. Uh, it looks like there's three lanes at the traffic lights, uh, we can just about see now the left lane is left only so we're staying in the middle one. Sometimes stopping at a red traffic light is quite useful because it gives us a chance to assess the road ahead whilst we're waiting for the green light. So looking ahead we can see there's a roundabout in the distance and we can see the big directional sign on the right hand side about halfway towards it. Now the traffic light has been red for quite a while so we're going to start <coughs> thinking about preparing the car. And we're also going to be looking out for Bob and Tom before we pull away as they quite like to filter up traffic in situations like this. We're just checking all three mirrors before we move off. Okay, the other light is changing, so ours might change back to green after that. There it is, Bob and Tom, there it's all clear. Okay, so the directional sign is slightly blocked by the trees at the moment. Uh, we're looking for Guildford, which says right third exit. So centre mirror, right mirror, right into shoulder check. Across we go, and then opening up our gap with the van. Okay, so there's the roundabout. So we're going to reapply our signal. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. Gently, progressively braking. Now we're trying to look to the right nice and early, but there is things blocking us. So we're just going to look as soon as we can see. There is a gap for us. Again, looking for Bob and Tom. Okay, so we've got exit number one on our left. In front of us is exit number two. Now the road markings push us out of here slightly. Centre mirror, left mirror, left signal to come out. Always coming off in the left lane, unless the right lane is needed for something else. Now again, we're looking out for Guildford signs already. We can see there's some sort of junctions ahead. So the sign up on the left is quite hard to see. It says follow the road ahead, second exit. So I'm going to use this left lane as there's no road markings telling us we can't. And looking to the right nice and early, looking for a gap. Roundabout's looking clear. There's first exit, so centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Now the next sign says it's right second exit, but if you look at the road markings, we can use the left lane to go right. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. But we're going to be staying in the left lane all the way around the roundabout, so the people in the right lane have got space next to us. So we're looking across the roundabout, centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. And then this is a slip road down onto the A331. So we're going to make good progress along here. You can see that the dual carriageway is national speed limit from the signs on the right. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. Starting to look in our right door mirror quite a lot. Occasional check into our right shoulder, our right chin to shoulder check. It's looking all safe for us. Okay, now we're going to pick up the signs for Farnborough. There is a big sign on the left coming up, so we're just going to see what that says because it tells us there is a junction coming up. Now we're following the signs to Farnborough, not Farnborough Park, so we want to be following the road ahead, not getting off. Now it's quite a busy dual carriageway, 
we're maintaining our two second gap quite nicely here we're just watching out for people that might take it if they do then we're going to make it a little bit larger again overtaking this lorry because the national speed limit is 70 at the moment we're only doing 55 so we're safely moving across and cancelling the signal now we can see past the lorry there's nothing else to overtake so we're going to be coming straight back in so centre mirror left mirror left signal as we pass him but we're going to wait for the front of him to appear in our centre mirror and then doing a left chin to shoulder check so by overtaking the lorry we're making progress along the road now again in the distance we can see another sign on the left telling us that there's a junction coming up and we're following the signs for Farnborough so we're going to see if it's for us or not okay yes yeah, so it's our exit in half a mile and the best time to signal off a dual carriageway is when we get to the three two one signs any time after the three is good we're going to try and do most of our slowing down on the slip road if possible though if it's long enough it's just so we don't hinder the progress of the people behind us so there's the three signs center mirror left mirror left signal now there is a roundabout at the end of the slip road we know it's right fourth exit we'll see the signs shortly so we're going to get into the right lane of the slip road to prevent people from overtaking us there's the sign you can see it now it is right fourth exit so centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. Now we're braking more than we think we need to because our perception of speed is different now. We've just been going fast. I see the roundabout's busy. Okay, so we're looking through the bushes, seeing if there's any gaps for the cars in front. Because if they go, we're going to move forward. Now you can see the roundabout's fairly busy. And we're going to go after this guy. Now the junction's all quite close together. We've got one on the left. That's the second one we can see. Third one's right in front of us. So centre mirror, left mirror left signal making sure it's safe to move into the left lane as that's the lane we would like to come off if it's safety now as we came off the dual carriageway there was a 30 sign as well so we know that this road's 30 although it feels quite wide remember our perception of speed has changed slightly so it does feel really slow now this next sign tells us farmer is left first exit so we can look across the corner and see the roundabout so center mirror left mirror left signal and looking to the right as early as possible, starting to assess whether there's going to be any gaps for us. Also keeping an eye on where we're going so we know where to steer to. So we're keeping our head moving like a tennis match. It's looking all clear. Now as we come off the roundabout, the two lanes merge together. So centre mirror, right mirror. Just checking for anybody that's trying to overtake us at the last second. 